as a STEM student, I think we all know that as you walk into lunch every day, it's kind of hard to figure out what to get. I mean, today, it's probably some leftover pizza, soup made from dinner last night. I don't know what we had, maybe some pork, macaroni, something like that. And the good staple is always a sandwich or a salad. Uh, it's really hard to make do with what we have, even though we have great stuff. But today, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect salad. So I have a big family with many aunts and uncles and cousins. And since I was little, we've always had big family dinners. And we have many signature dishes, but I think the one that we always have is just a regular Italian salad. Uh, we've always had this in my immediate family. We've had it with every single meal. And I think since my brother and I were little, it was the first thing we knew how to put together. This is also important because it helps you maintain good health. And it's a good start to any meal or finish, or you could just make it as a meal. The items that are necessary for making the perfect salad are a large mixing bowl, so you can make sure everything's distributed evenly. Wooden spoons for tossing. Um, these are just these are actually like forks, but I used them yesterday as well. And you can find them. You don't even have to use things like this. You could just use regular large spoons or forks to toss it. Um, salt. I usually use sea salt or kosher salt because it has a better flavor, but today I'll just be using table salt. Pepper. I usually use fresh ground pepper, but today I'm just pre-ground. Um, olive oil, which I have here. It's just a little bit, but... And vinegar. Usually I use balsamic vinegar because that's what my mom always used and my family uses, but this is cider vinegar. You could use almost any, any type, or if you use different dressings, but this is what we've always used. And most importantly, lettuce. Um, you could use any type of lettuce, considering there are probably about 50 different kinds, but today I'll be using romaine, because this is usually what we have in the dining hall as well. First, you should make sure that the salad is rinsed, and this is pre-rinsed, so, which is most packaged salad, or lettuce. But um, if you're rinsing it at the time, you should just rinse it with water quickly and then use a salad spinner to get off the extra water. Or use paper towels, just like this, to dab off the excess water. Put the lettuce into the large mixing bowl. Again, this is important so you can make sure everything is mixed and you have a good area to mix it with without dropping things. After the lettuce is in the bowl, put on um, about a tablespoon of olive oil. It depends on the amount of lettuce you're using or how much dressing you prefer, but I just do it approximately. Just to make sure it covers the salad a little bit. Now, use the large mixing spoons or forks or whatever to toss the salad. By doing this, you just lift it on top of the other lettuce until the olive oil is mixed evenly. Olive oil is important to go on first because then when you put the salt and pepper on, it sticks and it will keep to the lettuce. So next, I would put on about two to three shakes of salt. If it's kosher salt, I would put on about two to three pinches of it. It's just the same. And again, this is to your personal taste, so just add however much you like. Next, add the pepper. I add about three to four shakes of this. But again, however much you like. And one more time, you have to toss it. And again, it's important to put on the olive oil and then the salt and pepper because it sticks. So after tossing it, you put the vinegar on. It's about the same to use the olive oil, about two to three tablespoons, but I'm just going to do it approximate. And again, it depends on how much dressing and how much lettuce you have. Again, you have to toss it with the spoons to make sure it's mixed. And next, you have the dressing done now. So after this, you can add anything else you'd want on it. Um, we always put some Parmesan cheese. I know it's not in the container, but my mom packed it for me. So you put on some Parmesan cheese, however much you want. It depends on your taste. We usually put about a tablespoon or two. 
And then you can put anything else you want, such as croutons, or in the cafeteria you can put on chicken or turkey, whatever they have, mushrooms. And now you have, oh, actually, one more time, you have to just toss it to make sure it's distributed. You now know how to make the perfect salad from the dining hall to home for friends, for family, or for a date, whatever. With these easy ingredients, lettuce, olive oil, vinegar, salt, pepper, and just some simple tools, some large spoons in a bowl, you can make any, you can make this for any occasion for whatever you